Hello everyone. Okay, this is a tutorial on a G1000. Right, so with this machine you get three keys. And each of these keys have three letters on them. So there's one with the letter P, which um, basically can go on all of these different positions on your key lock. It's almost like your master key. And then you've got the one with Z, that's your more like your cash up key. So basically this one you'll use at the end of the day when you're cashing up. And that one ends here on Z. Right. And then you got this one here with the letter S. That one is your sales key. So it stops here at X. So let me explain the different positions here. So you got your lock position. That's when you're locking the till. Your register position. That's when you're selling and uh, refunding. Basically your sales operations. And then you got your X and Z here. These two are your reports. So they'll give you the same reports. The only difference here is that the X report will not clear your information after you press subtotal. The Z report will clear your information when you press subtotal. The Z report is used for cashing up. And then P2, this is a position where you create all of your different items. Uh, P1, this is where you would put the information on the slip, such as your business name and where you can create your cashiers and put in the different passwords. Okay, so first we're going to start with creating an item. So to do that, what you do, you use the, the, the key with the letter P on it. Right? You put it on your cash register, turn it on P2. So now, once you get there, you're going to get this options over here. So to highlight the option, you want to use these two buttons here, which is your page up and page down button, these two here. Right, so I want to highlight create new PLU. PLU means price lookup, but you can also look at it as just it means an uh, item. So I'm going to highlight that and press cash on your keyboard. Right. And then from there, you'll notice it says code. So on code, this is where you can scan your product or you can use numerals like 1, 2, 3 and so on to give like a code to your item. So for example, I'm going to say my first item will be code 1. So you'll notice there it says 1. Then I press page down to go down. Right? And then now when you see this where this black line under name, you can actually enter the information the name of your item there. So you would use these buttons here. But you'll notice when I while I'm pressing, nothing is happening. Because I have to first press enter. So the machine will recognize that I want to enter, enter a name of the product there. So I type in the name of the product. So I'm gonna use Coke as an example. So just like the old old tails, you have to press a couple of times to get the letter that you want. So for example, this coke. Okay, and space is zero. And then you'll notice right here it's alphabet it's on alphabet right now so if i want to toggle between alphabet and numbers i have to press the shift button over here on the keyboard so if i press shift once it says lowercase alphabets symbols and then you got name right from there i can i mean numbers sorry this is numbers so from there you just i can put a two liter yeah and then go back to alphabets right so l right there we go coke two liter so i can press cash to confirm that i want to save the name and then i can punch in the price so this will be your selling price so i'll say maybe 21 rents and then i press the page down button over here to go down and then the cost price would be maybe let's say 15 rents and then I go down to stock. That's my stock on hand at the moment. So, for example, I would have 50 bottles on hand. And then you have this uh, option here, which is called safe stock. Now, the safe stock function will is your level that okay, it warns you when your stock gets to that level or below. So, for example, if I put five here, that means when I have five uh, bottles of Coke and below, it's gonna warn me that I need to restock. Okay, then you press the page down up until you highlight save. 
from there you press cash and then it takes you back to step one where you can create your next product right to go out of this uh, option here yeah, you just simply press subtotal and then it takes you back to the original menu where you can choose your different options thank you